Welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today we're here to talk about portable wet dry vax. Yes, cordless wet dry vax. And trust me, yes, they all suck. All right. Well, we're going to start off here talking about Musu. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, uh, but I can tell you this. They sent me this shop vac for testing. And it was just kind of out of the blue kind of thing. And I know some of you have been asking about uh, these cordless vacs. I thought, yeah, why not? You know, <laughs> free vacuum, right? Anyway, so we got it in-house. We're going to take a look at it. I'm going to show you, show you how the thing works, give you a, a brief overview. And then we're going to do a price comparison guide for everything else that you can find on the market. So let's jump into it and take a look at this thing in action. Using this thing's pretty much a no-brainer. You lift up the cover there to insert the battery right in the front. Why it's clear, I guess so you can see that there's a battery there. Uh, the charging port on this, it just has one of those wall wart chargers. Plugs directly into the battery. As you know, that's not a favorite of mine. Uh, putting the battery in upside down, that's a little interesting, I guess. No big deal. But it's nice, nice compact, easy to carry, good strong handle. You gotta like that. Simple operation, first press turns it on, second press turns it on high mode, third press turns it off. Easy to use, hose wraps around, it stores most of the stuff on it, like there's one of the attachments, but the other attachments, there's, it, it just kind of, I don't know, you throw it on there somewhere. <laughs> okay then, let's put this thing to some work, see how it handles the sawdust, should be about as easy as it could be. The nice thing with these vacs, if you don't want to suck it up and you just want to get rid of it, you just move it from one hole to the other, and now it's a blower. All right, there you go. That's the Musu wet dry vac. And, you know, it's $130. Now you're like, that. you know, that's not actually that bad a price. You got to... You got the battery built into it. It comes with the charger, uh, and uh, I guess the battery's not built in. You got you can take the battery out and stuff like that. You got the charger. It'll suck. It'll blow. It's got a couple speeds on it. It's got some nice attachments. Not too bad, right? Here's the issue. What do you do with the battery other than this thing? I can't find any other uses for this battery. In fact, I can't even find where to buy the battery by itself. Come on, Musu. You sent me this thing. Did you think we'd just be like... Uh, sure, this is great. Go out and buy it. No, I can't recommend this. This is, it's a standalone product with one battery. You lose the battery, you're screwed. You want another battery, you're screwed. This is just, it's, it's cool. I'm probably going to put it to use, have the Cubs clean out the truck with it or something. The wife said it'd be great for doing the stairs, you know, get the dog hair and stuff and better than lugging the entire vacuum and whatnot, which is great and all. It, I like the form factor. I like the idea. The implementation is just it's just not there. You got to have a, a broader product range to go with it. I just can't come and spend $130 for something like this. Now, for your options out there, well, one of the new ones is the new Hercules. They've got a, and we're all looking at the right that two gallon ish kind of size here. There's some bigger ones, some smaller ones. But this is what we're looking at 20 volt lithium ion dual power. So you can plug this one in or you can use the battery. So if you lose your batteries, you can still plug the darn thing in. It's $120. Now, that doesn't come with the battery. That's tool only. Of course, I can plug it in. And <laughs> if you've got the battery already, you're fine. But again, you know, to be fair to uh, Musu there, you're, you're looking at, what, 40 bucks for the battery, another 30 bucks for the chargers? Yeah, you'd get the discount at $25 off that. But it's going to be a bit more, a bit more expensive. How about DeWalt? DeWalt's got a nice one too. Very similar form factor there. You got the tube extension as your handle. It tucks everything on there. That's it. By the way, that's the other thing I want to talk about the Musu is where there was a place to put one of the extensions, the other extensions, there's there's no place for it. They're just, when you throw it in there with the dirt and everything else you vacuumed up, I, I don't know. Anyway, DeWalt, a better design here. You're looking at $138. Again, this is going to be tool only on this, but it's a nice, well-made, solid construction. Comes with a nice filter on it. 
it, you know, I, if you're already in the Dwalt lineup, I don't see any reason why you would buy uh, one of these, you know, Amazon only, let's call them that, Amazon only uh, tools because they're just, there's no support for the battery line. There's, there's no support for the batteries. Oh, and one other feature of this, it's dual power. No, you, you can't plug it in, but you can look at that port. It is 18 volt and 20 volt compatible. So if you have the older line of DeWalt batteries, you can use this tool with it. I'm stunned. I had no idea they did stuff like that. And for a few bucks more, you can step up to this version of the DeWalt that as you see right below the handle up top, yep, that's a cord. So this one is AC compatible as well. So now you're tri-powered on this model. All right, then we got Makita. Now, Makita makes a great little vac here. This is the XCV11Z, 18 volt, off, based off the LXT line. Fabulous line there for Makita. Good solid vacuum here. And it's also got a HEPA filter built in. Again, it holds all your accessories. It's got a nice handle on it. And it, you know, this is going to be the extractor and vacuum tool only. So you're not getting a battery with it. And it's $170. But, you know, it's a Makita. Now, Makita's been making vacuums for quite some time. They even make regular stand-up vacuums and such. So this is a nice, solid option if you're in the Makita line. But at that price point, you got to be really dedicated. But, you know, that's what it comes. That's what happens when you're with Makita, right? <laughs> and then over at Lowe's, we've got the Craftsman. They're, this is their uh, V20 line here. This is, of course, tool-only, batteries not included. I think the price on this is like $90, $89, $90 there on that. Uh, it looks like a, a pretty decent, well well designed system. You got a nice, solid handle up top. You got the uh, hose, uh, you know, a, a storage there. You've got tool storage on it as well. You got the two tank system, like we were talking about before. Uh, you know, we go through some of the images here. It's got the filter built into it there as well. So you, you know, a lot of great uses for something like this. And of course, it's going to expand the tool line that you already have. And at ninety dollars. $90, that's a pretty good price. Now, I, again, I've been fairly critical of, you know, the, the Craftsman line because of the cost of their batteries and whatnot. I'm not saying the tools are bad. I just don't see the uh, the performance to price value on a lot of them. But this one, $90. You're already in the Craftsman line. Might as well pick it up. Cobalt. Cobalt's got a nice one. I know several of you picked this thing up and you've talked to me about this. They've got their version of the old, uh, now this is a three gallon one here, but look how how clean this setup here is with the top on it closed. Now I wish the handle came up over the top rather than having to reach down into it, but that's, that's a small part of it. But that top part flips open. You have all the access to your hose, your accessories, the switch, everything's all enclosed, nice and neat in there. I really like this. You're looking at $99.98. Again, battery not included on this. This is their model KMDV0124B-03. Come on, people. Just call it the Cobalt Vacuum. Anyway, uh, and, uh, and a lot of these, as I mentioned when we did the Musu one, they have the blowing and sucking option. In fact, I don't think I've seen one yet that does not. If we run across one in this list, I'll, I'll call it out. You got the filter system on that, of course, that the Musu didn't have. Uh, you know, these are really solid you know, great choices. Now, let's be honest, 100 bucks. And you know, once you add a battery and a charger, way more expensive than the Amazon brand with the battery inclusive. But now you're in the, the Cobalt 24 volt line, and that's going to be a lot more useful to you. Bosch, Bosch, $139. Who would think that would be that cheap for a Bosch, right? Again, we're looking at tool only 2.9 gallon cordless handheld wet dry shop vacuum battery not included. It has the clear sidewall on it so you can see how much junk or fluid or stuff is in there. You've got all these, look at these extension tubes. That's not something you see on these other ones. Not sure about the whole cord management system there on the side, but it looks like a nice, compact, easy to pick up and go kind of system there. $132 tool only. Next up, we're going to give you the works. Yeah, we got the works here for $100. This is quite a package here. This may be the solution you've been looking for or not, <laughs> $100 gets you the 20 volt cordless handheld wet dry shop vac battery included. Now that's nice because if you're already in the works line, you know, it's going to work with, uh, you know, all the other, you know, uh, tools in that lineup. There's quite a lineup of, of works tools. They have some great little gadgety kind of stuff. Some of it's great. Some of it actually works. 
But this is a nice looking design here. Look at this thing, nice little cube. You got the crevice tool, you got the little brush attachment. Very sleek design here. And for having all of that with the battery included for a hundred bucks, why not get something like this? This thing is fantastic. You can use it for all sorts of, wait, how small is that? Yeah, that, this thing is tiny. And you know what? People love it when I call tools adorable, but come on. You want to put a leash on it, name it Fred. <laughs> anyway, I do like this. You hold it over your, your waistband, you press the button, the button, the bottom drops out, and that's how you clear out the tank on this. The tank size is listed as zero. I kid you not. Honestly, I'm not even sure it's technically a wet dry vac, but they say it is. I don't see them any instances of actually sucking up liquids with it. But I mean, look at that. As far as like, you know, if you just got to clean out some small junk out of your car, maybe that portability is all you really need, you know, something that size. I don't know. They're saying on max pressure though, uh, or max suckage, if you would, uh, you you get about 10 minutes of runtime out of it. Um, I don't know, for a hundred bucks though, I think I might want to have a bigger system. It, it is cool. It is compact. It has the battery. Uh, although, it's, look at this. It says, what's included? Battery and charger sold separately. But over here, it literally says battery is included. Reading through the text, it does say the included 20 volt uh, amp hour max lithium battery and charger gives you the freedom from the cord and can be used with other works tools. There you go. You got to like that option. <laughs> anyway, moving along next up on our list is Flex. If you saw my uh, my two videos I've done so far on the Flex system, this is their new pro level tools, 24 volt. This is clearly their potato cannon um, or vacuum. I don't know. It looks like a potato cannon to me. <laughs> But this is their new line of tools here. Uh, it's listed currently at $120. It's not out. Uh, again, this is going to be uh, battery not included, tool only, 24 volt, 1.6 gallon. It's going to be on the smaller size. We'll have to wait and see if this is the actual price when it comes out. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that, that in there for comparisons. Over at the old Home Depot, we got the Milwaukee. Of course, now the Milwaukee 18 gallon two or 18 volt two gallon lithium ion cordless wet dry vac uh, uses the standard M18 batteries. It comes with you know all your basic accessories. It has that box that's very similar to the Cobalt design, nice and clean. Has everything compact. I love that kind of design because it keeps all your stuff secure. You know, having the hoses wrap around the outside is nice, but somebody kicks it, some, a piece goes flying, gets knocked off. Having them all locked in the box is, to me, the best option to have there. And $120, if you're in the, the Milwaukee M18 line, why would you look anywhere else? Now, they have a fuel version of this also. If you really need extreme suckage, this is the one you're going to want to get. It's a 2.5-gallon version of the... Uh, of similar to the old of uh, the other one and this works with the pack out system as well so it locks into all the little features so you can put it on the little cart system and haul it around with you and the way it's set up is you can control it and use it while it's still integrated into your pack out stack which is really nice now you are looking at a pr price of two hundred dollars for this but if you're this is a clearly a pro level tool for use on the job and uh at that at that point you, i think this makes a, a lot of sense rigid rigid really let the bear down here now rigid shop vacs have long been considered the go-to gold standard for shop vacs but this little portable hand hand system hand handheld system three gallon so it's bigger than it than it really looks uh, but it, the features, the setup on it, it comes with, I mean, look, don't get me wrong, it's got the filter, it's got the hoses, it's got, uh, you know, a couple attachments there. And it's, of course, it's tool only for a hundred bucks here. But, you know, let me see if I can get a picture here with everything. It's got the, the blower features and whatnot and the expanding hose, low profile design. But, you know, the storage on this, th that does not make me feel all warm and snug that looks like they just zip tied it on there this is not this is not what i would expect from a, a company like rigid i would have expected a a more thought out design when you're using it like that yeah it's fine but as far as storage wow what a pain just kind of a fail uh and moving along we got the ryobi so this is their this is a six gallon this is a big boy here 
This is a wet dry vacuum tool only with hose, crevice tool, floor nozzle, and extension wand. You got the whole thing. They got a whole cart system because again, this is a, a bigger kind of, you know, I think a five gallon bucket filled with water is going to be kind of heavy. This is a six gallon here. So, you know, that's why you've got the wheeled system on it. This is something you can really clean up with. No tip wheel design, 360 mobility. See, it's got the casters on the side to allow it to spin in place. And of course, this works with the Ryobi One Plus uh, battery system, which is, of course, one of the largest battery systems out there that you can buy today. Uh, and if you want to get it with a battery, that whole, like the whole combo kit only takes the price up to $178. That's a pretty good option. So that pretty much covers most of, if not all, the uh, handheld cordless wet dry vac systems options out there. Again, in most cases, you're going to look at spending more than you would for the Amazon one, but you got the, the usability of everything else. If I were, however, like, no, you know, I don't need to integrate with my other battery tool line, and I'm fine with that, why not get something like this... Uh, what is this? Oh, this is over at, at Home Depot, so it's not an Amazon one, but it's the Armor All version. Now, uh, yeah, Armor All is a well-known brand, but not for power tools. But look at this. You're getting essentially the same kind of thing, a 2.5 gallon, two tool kit, cordless wet dry vac. Now get this. I, I, it's, I think it's got slightly better design for incorporating the hose and everything else than the Musu. Uh, it's got the similar kind of, you know, extensions and stuff on it. You get, actually, look at this. You get the hose, you get a crevice tool, uh, you get, uh, you know, a couple of the, one of those brushes, extensions on there. You got some hose, or not hose, but inflator nozzles for when you're using the blower. You can use this as an inflator for a lot of outdoor, uh, you know, toys, uh, pool toys and inflatable products. And on top of that, it's got a real charging base. And it's got this USB adapter that goes on top so you can charge all your stuff. Talking about if you want to take something camping or whatnot, this would be a great option. I don't know, again, if you can get other batteries for it. Probably not. Oh, look, they, they sell a blower and an inflator as well. I don't know if you can buy those separately. But again, if you're buying a one-and-done solution, that seems like the way to go. $82.59, it's less expensive. You pick it up at Home Depot, you get a lot more features with it. There you go. Anyway, let me know what you think your wet, dry, portable, cordless shop vac needs are. Do you do you want it to integrate to your uh, your tool system? I don't know why you wouldn't. Do you like the dual power? Do you like the 110 option available? I think that really adds to the flexibility because vacuums can chew through some batteries like they're freaking Tic Tacs. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Let me know what you think the best option is. While you're down there, don't forget to chomp the old like button. Hit the subscribe Ring that bell, and that's all the bear has for you today. You all take care, God bless, and as always, shine on.